Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes. For those that are new, consider hanging out to the end. And everyone else, welcome back to another 15-minute build. Uh, last episode, we had to build a telescope bed. So as you can see here, that would be the telescope bed. And now today's episode is da -da -da -da, a gambling teapot. Now, for the quick rules to let everyone know kind of what's going on, what I do is I just go to a random idea generator and it generates a bunch of random words and then I stick one, which for instance, teapot came up first, hit, it keep hitting random and then it said gambling. So it became the gambling teapot. So now that I explained that, we're gonna go ahead and build a gambling teapot. And so let me go ahead and pull this over so that you guys can see. Um, but before we do this, let's get started. Okay, so now that that's been taken place, let's go ahead and hit start and 15 minutes. Okay, so here we go. So I think the first thing that I want to do, the biggest thing that's going to be the problem is that the teapot. I don't know quite how I want to build the teapot, but I don't really have time to make it look nice either. So what we're going to do is, to me, the biggest challenge is going to get the, the teapot um, kind of sized right. And then once we have the teapot, the, the next thing is going to be <laughs> the gambling side of it. So now... Because of just for the sake of time, I can't do a circle or teapot, a circular teapot, I guess is what I was trying to say there. Um, so we're definitely just going to have to do something square. And you know what? I should just be filling this in as I go along since I really don't have time. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty, dig pretty big teapot, and I'll explain why in just a second. So the reason being, um, let me just get these corners. You know what? We don't need this. This is extra. Uh, the reason why it needs to be big is because it needs to house the mechanism that I'm hoping I, I will have time to build. Again, this is... This is all pretty bold, if you ask me, That to, in 15 minutes. So, you ever played slot machines? Because I know I haven't, but in the event that you have, then you might understand kind of what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is in the center of the teapot, it's pretty much going to look like a gambling, uh, like a pretty much a, a slot machine built around a teapot is what I'm thinking. Or, in other words, there's going to be a teapot in the center of a gambling uh, or a slot machine. Okay, so <laughs> two minutes have passed, and I'm trying to go quick. And so if I did a really bad job explaining that, it's because my, my mind's going, you know, 500 miles a minute just so that I can, in hopes, get this done. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty big teapot, as I just realized. So maybe it didn't need to be this big, but, you know, we're already committed two minutes into this. It's it. This is it. This is going to be the size. That's not, uh, not necessarily the uh, height, uh, but that's that. Um, Man, I really hope it doesn't have to be a functioning teapot because, <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so after this, there's, uh, sure, whatever. I really, I don't have time to, like, count and, and keep it, keep it level. It's just gonna, kind of have to be, oh, that's right. Uh, that's, that's right. I made it off the ground, so it's not actually in the ground, so I can't do that. The trick with the, the lift. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm wasting time is what I'm doing. Let me tell you what. Okay. Um, and then this needs to go over here, and then I need to take this wall up that high. Perfect, okay. And then take this wall all the way as far as I can, but then up about there. Take this wall. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, if I come on, fine, fine, fine. If you like that, I'll just build it this way. And get that right there. And then, uh, this needs to go... Oh. I just need to relax it, I guess, is what I need to do. And that. And then that. Okay. So, this is the really ugly teapot, but <laughs> it's one's like, I don't, uh, I'll just have to eyeball it. I don't think anyone's going to mind right now. Okay, so that, and then it'll come out like that, and then it'll come out like that. Yeah, let me just drag this out like that, and then we're going to need uh, that. You know, every good tea, teapot has its, you know, its handle and has its spout, so that's what we're building right now is the... Uh, the handle. <laughs> oh, you remember like the little song when you're a kid, like, I'm a little teapot, short and stout, here's my handle, here's my spout. Yeah, yeah, so we'll, you know, when you hit me whistle, pour me out, but right now what we're doing is we're building the, uh, the I guess the, the handle. Uh, yeah, see, look, like, it's, it's starting to come along. Okay, so then the tea comes out, uh, something like that big, and then this needs to come out like this. <laughs> what am I getting myself into? We're 11 minutes. I have 11 minutes left, and, and the hardest part, in my opinion, is not even, I haven't even started yet. Okay, so, like that, and then like that, and then like that, and then like that. Oh my gosh, and then the reason why this is like that is so I can do something like, like 
this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then uh, this. What, what what am I doing? Why am I doing it like this? But hey, you know, it's what I'm doing. So go something like that. You know, because no, no teapot just has a straight uh, spout coming right out. You know, it always has a little bit of a curve so that when you're pouring tea, you actually got to pour it from the bottom and not the top. So it doesn't all just splash out. Which, you know, makes sense. Okay. You know what? If we're at 10 minutes. If this keeps going on, then that's it. I mean, it's just going to have to be what it is. All right. I mean, that has somewhat of a curve in it. It's looking more like a teapot spout, I guess. <laughs> that's so ugly. I don't care. Um, well, I do care. I just... Ugh. Okay. That to me... Oh, okay. Well, let me do some of that. There we go. So that's the teapot. It's not going to have an inside or a, a top unless we finish. Okay. So here comes the, the hard part. So what, what I have in mind is I want... Uh, I need some servos. I call them servos, but they're really just this. And then I'm going to need the control box. Um, I need some wood. Where's that control box thing? I don't remember what it's called. Oh, we're going to need the button to activate it. Oh, no. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, what's going to stop it? Oh, I didn't think about that. I just thought about how to get it. Oh, it's over. It's all over. I don't know if I'm going to do this. Okay, so what I'm going to want right now is I'm going to want something like... So we're going to need... Uh, you know what? Let's make it too wide. So too wide. Oh my gosh, and I accidentally made it. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to need is we're going to need something... I don't know how big to make it. Okay, so in the event that it's too too small... We're gonna make that, and then we'll have, there we go, that, these will be the stakes in between. I, it might look like madness, and it might look like crazy, and although it is, there there is reason uh, for the, the craziness. Okay, so what I have planned is that, like this, and then there's gonna be something like that. That's because it doesn't have this box. So let me go ahead and wire these up, is what I'm gonna need. So, each, you know, there's four sides to this, right? So we have this side, which I just went ahead and put, had stuck out. We have this side, we have the bottom side, and then we have this top side. So now the idea is, is that when you hit the button, this servo is going to spin, hopefully, an X amount of times. Um, and then you're going to hit, oh, you can hit each button to turn it off. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think I know. Okay, okay. It just came to me as, a, as I'm trying to do this. Oh, I can't, I need this to turn. Uh, rotate that much. Perfect. Okay. No, 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 don't put the button. Oh. No, you gotta be kidding me. This is not happening. I have eight minutes left and this is not gonna work. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, so do this all over again since I accidentally misclicked and it will happen. But hey, okay, so then I need this to once again uh, turn back the 90 degrees. Fine. Perfect. Okay, so then, then what we're gonna want is we're gonna want the paint gun. And then there's going to be four colors, and you're going to try to match the four colors. I mean, that's kind of the gamble, right? Okay, so we're going to have, I don't know, dark red, and then we're going to have, like, a, whatever color you want to call that, and then we're going to have, like, a, a dark green, and then how about a uh, blue? There we go. Okay, and so then when you hit the button, it's going to arm the, the rotor, and this rotor is going to keep spinning, 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 and then you're going to hit the button, and then you're going to stop oh, all of them from spinning. How are we going to do that? You know what? I think I can do it like this. Okay, and then oh, I have seven minutes like that, like that, and then I just got to kind of copy and paste. Oh, hopefully those don't get stuck on there. I didn't even think about that. Oh, okay, good. That answers that question. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me just go ahead and... Oh, why don't I just do that in the first place? Look at that. That worked almost like perfectly. It's like it was waiting. Okay, and so the only issue is what color do I have? The blue and the blue is at the bottom, so blue blue and then reds at the top or I guess facing us it's purple or pink it's at the top it's actually a darker shade I think nope that was the right color and then it's going to be green on the back but the light or darker green there we go okay uh so if if I I'm doing this all on the fly if I think about this correctly we're going to want all of these to start at the same, and we're going to want them to turn the same. Okay, so this one needs to be turned in such a way that we need, we need to have the pink at the top, or the not the pink, the... Uh, okay, nope, almost exactly that, but now 90 degrees this way. Perfect, and then 
Where's the pink on this one? It's at the bottom. Once again, 90 degrees this way. Oh, okay. 90 degrees, not that way. This way? This way? Oh, maybe it's not a full 90 degrees. Is it 30 degrees? Oh my gosh, I have five minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> you know what? What am I doing? Why am I so dumb? <sighs> okay, so green. Oh my gosh. You know what? Just rip the colors off. Just cheat like a Rubik's Cube and just rip the colors off and then re put them back on the, in the right place. <laughs> Did you guys ever do that? Because, you know, I didn't. You know, I didn't do anything like that. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not the same color blue. It's that blue. And then... Remember dark red at the front. Okay, so now these are all identical. Okay, so here's here's the thing. We're going to need what's called a logic gate. And so quick history lesson about logic gates. You can have it do cool things. So for instance, what we're going to want this to do is we're going to have it be a um, only active if trig. No, we want both. Uh, if any of them are linked. Okay, no. Only if only one one is linked. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think that's what we want. And we want each one of these, hopefully, hopefully connect, connect to, oh, thank goodness. Okay. So here's the thing. So what this is going to do is it's going to tell all of these, you know, I just need to rip a hole in this because I have no way of getting out. If not, it's going to have all of these uh, spindles start spinning. And it's going to be tied into this button, right? Uh, okay. No. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Because uh, how I'm doing this, I need actually, oh, I need each one to have its own logic gate. Okay, so I need two more. So one there, and then one there. You know what? You guys should be proud of me. I'm thinking about this all, like, on the top of my head. And I, uh, no, no, no. Okay, so this actually needs, these, all these logic gates need to be that. And then this one was a XOR, and this needs to be this one. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on, I have four minutes? Okay, OR, and then this needs to be an OR. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so when they all turn on, it's all going to make them start, and then you're going to have the three buttons, right? And the three buttons are going to be there, there, and there, and then each button's going to correlate to each uh, gate, because if I turn them on, it should stop. It should stop them from spinning. Okay, and so then when these are on with the button, it's going to tell these things to loop, and it's just going to do 90 degree turns. And then this one's going to tell itself to do 90 degree turns, and it's going to loop. And then this one's going to tell itself to do 90 degree turns and then loop. Okay. Oh my gosh, three minutes. And then on and nothing's spinning. And the buttons aren't doing anything. <laughs> no, come on. What am I missing? What's, what's, what, uh... oh, they're not tied into the logic gates. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that one needs to go there. And then this one needs to talk with this logic gate. Okay, so they're all spinning. Okay, okay, and then they're not spinning very fast, but then you hit the button, and it should... Oh, that's right, they're buttons. <laughs> they need to be switches. Okay, two minutes, I can fix this. I can totally do this. Okay, so then it's a button, and then it's a button, and then it's a button, and then this needs to talk to that, and then, um, and then this one needs to talk to that one, and then that one needs to talk to that one, and then you... Stop. And then you go to the other one, and then you try to make it... Oh, no. No, stop. Okay, and then you go to this one, and you make it stop. Okay, so we have some time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. That was all on the top of my head. I, I promise you guys, I do not think about this stuff ahead of time. As I, I had it in my mind, I was immediately trying to think, like, how, how, how am I going to do this? I have two minutes left. Oh, okay. So then, so then that's that, and then let's go ahead and let's see. We have two minutes. Can I paint this thing in two minutes? That's going to be the, uh, the challenge in of itself. Okay, so I think that works. If you, if you, what do you think? Do you think that counts as a, a gambling teapot? Because I think so. I mean, that's what I kind of envisioned in my head almost exactly. And it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would, in all honesty. Only because I've had some experience with, with um, messing with logic gates and kind of thinking on the fly when it comes to certain things like that. And I'm so glad. It, oh, my gosh. I honestly didn't think I was going to pull that one off. That one just seemed to be, like, the hardest one. And, I mean, I really didn't because I still have a minute 30. Oh, okay. I just gotta paint the rest of this ugly teapot. You know what? Let's see if we can, uh, hurry this up. And let me see if I can actually put a, a top onto the, the teapot. Let's see if we actually can get a, uh, like a nice looking... Ah, no, I have a minute left. There's no way. I gotta call it quits. It's pretty much this. It's gonna be finish up painting. Hopefully I can. And then, and then we just gotta build the, the hole, fill the hole in the wall. And then... Uh, that and then paint right over it 
and then turn these back off and then they'll start spinning and then now they're all random oh that one is okay and we're gonna try one more time so we got red and then we got red and then we got 50 seconds left and then we need to get red and ding 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 ding, ding. awesome what do you win um you win this pot of plant and then it should oh no i didn't even think about it well then you know 40 seconds so then we can just imagine an arm would have popped out unfolded and then given you a potted plant but that's that let me go ahead and stop the timer because it's really loud okay 33 seconds left to spare this my friends is a gambling teapot hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys you like this because man <laughs> this is getting crazy and i'm having fun you have any suggestions by all means leave them in the comments below tell me what you you think two random items and maybe what i can do is each if each person just gives one random item then what i can do is combine the comments and get stuff like this but ladies and gentlemen uh, that's going to do it for this 15 minute build challenge hopefully you guys are enjoying this hopefully you guys had a good day because i am and especially now that i was able to build this in, in, in four minutes and or 14 minutes and 30 seconds oh gosh okay until next time guys as always keep it real